Hey, it's Ogie here. Today we're going to be putting this Akropovich muffler and mid pipe on the 2022 Husqvarna Norden. I do not know the brand of the mid pipe. I know it is not a Tecmo and it is not the Aero. I have the Aero here to compare it with. I've put five of the Aero mid pipes on already with either the Akropovich exhaust or the stock muffler. Both seem to sound great. The welds look pretty good on this mid pipe. Let me show you the arrow and we can compare. The arrow mid pipe is on the left. I've installed at least five on Husqvarna Norden so far. The welds on the arrow look pretty good. Same with the bends. The Aero mid pipe does work well with the stock muffler. You can hear a little bit more low rumble to it, but the bike is still not loud. The bike is not even loud with the Akropovich. The Aero mid pipe weighs over four pounds less than the stock catalytic converter, and this pipe weighs way more less than that. Some people complain of heat building up by the shock, and this is one way they try to eliminate that, is by just replacing the whole catalytic converter. The arrow has a loop and a resonance chamber built into it. I will say I've put these arrows on multiple bikes, and they do fit well. Let's start taking the bike apart and get these parts on there. Take off the stock muffler. First, you're going to grab a Torx 45, and there's only one bolt holding on the muffler, and then there's one bolt on the lower clamp. I've seen the lower bolt head on both sides of the bike, but for this clamp bolt, you need to come through the left side of the bike. Loosen that up. Make sure you get both halves of the exhaust clamp off, as well as the exhaust gasket off of the catalytic converter. We need to get the shifter link out of the way, so just remove one of the bolts. We're going to remove the front one here and just push the link out of the way. I believe it is T27 Torx. Now we need to get the sprocket cover out of the way. There are three Torx screws holding this cover on. Remove those and you can move the cover out. We need to take the lower exhaust clamp off. Remember to make note of the orientation of this bolt because if you put it any other way, it will prevent the skid plate from going back on. The bolt and clamp have to be exactly how it is now with the bolt facing upwards. Next, we need to remove the left hand footrest bracket. Start by breaking the top 19 millimeter bolt and remove that. It is pretty tight from the factory. Remove the remaining two Torx bolts that go to the bracket.
The lower right bolt has a spacer that goes behind it. You can pull the footrest and bracket off. You need to get the kickstand out of the way, so push the chain up and you will find a bolt hidden right behind the chain there for the kickstand. Remove that Torx bolt. You can take the kickstand off and just let it hang temporarily. You need to get the bolt out that is right behind the kickstand. You need to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts that go into the mid pipe or catalytic converter. At this point, there is only one more bolt holding the catalytic converter in. It is also a 10 millimeter, but it is behind the right footrest. Without removing that footrest, you can just use an open-ended 10 millimeter wrench to get in there. If you have a ratcheting wrench, you can get in there better. If you haven't removed the other exhaust clamp, do so now. It is a Torx T45. This exhaust clamp could be a pain to get in or out because it wants to hit the motor in a certain spot. So try to wiggle it out best you can. Remove the last bolt to the catalytic converter behind the right footrest there. I grabbed a ratcheting wrench, 10 millimeter. It takes some time because this bolt is pretty long. Once you get that bolt out, you can drop the catalytic converter. The thing weighs a ton. Just a quick comparison of the cat versus the mid pipe we'll be installing. There has to be at least a five pound difference versus this mid bite. I grabbed the arrow mid pipe just for another comparison for you guys. This mid pipe uses the lower right bolt for the mount. The arrow will use the lower left hand side bolt behind the kickstand. Line up the bolt hole and thread in the bolt. Leave it loose. That way you have some play in the mid pipe. Remember to make sure you put the exhaust gaskets on the mid pipe on each end where it will connect.
you can start putting your lower exhaust clamp on remember it has to be in the same orientation it was originally so you can get the skid plate back on the bolt must be going in from the bottom upwards This is definitely a warning here. These exhaust clamps can be a serious pain in the butt. All right, as I tightened it, I can tell that bracket is down too far and we'll hit the skid plate. So I need to loosen it up. I need to rotate the exhaust bracket more towards a horizontal position with the ground. So let's loosen it up. I'm gonna get a pry bar and a rubber mallet and just tap on it to rotate the bracket. Just trying to create a little bit of space between the motor and the exhaust clamp. The clamp where they connect tends to want to hit on the motor there. I'm just tapping the exhaust clamp to get it horizontal with the ground. Like I said before, make sure you put the exhaust gaskets on each side of the mid pipe. Kropovich muffler comes with a rubber grommet and two spacers for the exhaust mount, so you can install those. It also comes with a new bolt and washer. You can start to thread in the bolt, but leave it very loose. That way you have play. I would leave the lower exhaust clamp a little bit loose and the mid pipe bolt. That way you have some wiggle room because some of these do not like to fit up very easily. These exhaust clamp halves will most likely fall down onto the ground a couple times. It always helps to have an extra set of hands for this part, especially if you're going to put the bolt in from the opposite side. I was using a pry bar to pry the mid pipe into the muffler connector so the exhaust clamp would fit up nicer so i actually took a pair of needle nose vice grips and clamped both sides together because it didn't seem like the bolt was catching on the opposite side i was able to finally get the bolt started so i came over here to the opposite side of the bike to put the bolt in and snug it down When your clamps are on, you can torque your muffler bolt down as well as the mid pipe bolt and make sure both exhaust clamps are tight.
Let's get the kickstand back on first. Line up the footrest bracket. Put the 19 millimeter top bolt in first and snug it up a little bit. After you get the 19 millimeter started, you can go to the two Torx bolts on the bottom. Remember the right side does have a spacer behind it and that may change depending on if you have an AXP racing skid plate, which normally comes with a different size spacer, or if you go with the Husqvarna center stand. If you have the OEM one, just put the OEM spacer back behind the bolt. Once you have all three footrest bracket bolts in, you can double check the kickstand bolt, make sure that it's torqued down, and then make sure to torque the three footrest bracket bolts down. It's time for the sprocket cover. You just want to move the shifter link out of the way to get this on and in position. Remember, there are three torque screws that go into this cover. Two on the bottom and one on top. You can start the Torx bolt for the shifter link. And once you have that in, torque it down. Well, that's it for the install. Now's a good time to just go back and double check all your bolts. Make sure they're all tight. Double check the kickstand. Make sure that's in the right place. Make sure the shifter works. I do have another video removing the OEM skid plate. You can watch that video if you need help getting the skid plate off to get to that lower exhaust clamp bolt. I've put this AXP skid plate on the same time I did the mid pipe and a Kropovich install. Let's see how it sounds. I do have to say the mid pipe we installed today is a little bit louder than the arrow version. It has a slightly deeper and raspier sound than the arrow, but the arrow does sound similar and good as well. Well, that's it. If you guys have any more questions, leave a comment, make sure you like the video and subscribe for more.